Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you Windows 7. What's it got that you don't have already? Well, let's take a look. This is a first look at it, starting with the desktop here. I've got the beta. I've been using it since version uh, build 7000. And uh, you need a one gigahertz system, one gigabyte of RAM, 16 gigs of space. Pretty basic stuff, actually, to install and get Aero running. So that's not too bad. Now, um, let's talk about the arrow here because it looks like it's on steroids starting with the uh, start button in the corner the orb button that uh, sparkles and shines there and then you got these thick huge icons here on that uh, taskbar which is no longer really called the taskbar they call it the super bar now but uh, essentially it has a lot of the same type of features as Vista but they've improved a few so you still have the previews but you can actually switch the order in which you have tasks and things open so not only can you have shortcuts but your tasks appear now there as well and uh, you can preview them and switch the order in which they're uh, you know opened or layered on top of each other if you uh, preview one of them and you move your mouse on top of the small preview it shows you a big preview right beside it okay so you can see I'm moving my mouse on top I haven't clicked on anything I'm just moving my mouse on top and it opens up a preview so you can see what's running there okay so that's one new feature um, to get to these previews or to get to your desktop if you have a whole bunch of things open now you go to the right hand side and you right click over there and you'll get this little pop-up that says show desktop preview your desktop so that's how you get to it now okay so they don't have the shortcut on the other side it's on this on the right hand side what else do we have on this super bar well let's see if you click with the left mouse button and you hold it down you get this jump list so common tasks and things that you can do with whatever it is that you have running down there if you left click and hold the mouse button down and move your mouse up it actually makes appear this list of things that you can do relating to that program or whatever it is that you're running in there and you've got similar lists that will appear also in the um, in the program menus and things that you've run before so that's one feature the other thing that they have is the snapping feature so the arrow type of snap so you've got these windows opened and it's a bit cluttered well you can snap them and organize them and tile them or get to them easily by dragging them to a corner or dragging them to the top they become full screen if you drag them to the right it snaps half of the screen and same thing with the other side if you have another window open you move it to the top it snaps full screen you can unsnap it from there and bring it to the right hand side and it snaps to the right to the left so that's that's a snapping feature I've seen this in other operating systems but they've added it now the gadgets now they've called it instead of the sidebar and the widgets it's gadgets and they are basically drag and drop onto your desktop and that's it there is no sidebar anymore but the gadgets are basically the same as before okay so that really hasn't changed all the options and all of that relating to the gadgets that were in Vista are the same in Windows 7 it's just that you don't have a sidebar anymore okay so that's that now personalization when you want to change your um, desktop icons and stuff like that that's been improved a little bit there's more options so you can see here there's different themes and different color schemes and stuff like that I've changed the default of course and I added my own uh, desktop background already for this video uh, that's not uh, any different than Vista actually it's the same same process to download you know you download your own wallpaper and then you just point to it and then set it up uh, the way you want on your uh, on your desktop and that's it straightforward right um, now if you don't want to use that there are a lot of neat wallpaper and themes that come with it already okay so let's take a look at a couple of those you can see there's a couple of themes already and color schemes already set up and you can choose any of those or you can go in and manually customize the way you want it and here's some nice little wallpaper that you can choose and you can see the nice little colors they're a pretty good uh, resolution and uh, pleasing to look at so those are not too bad uh, nicely uh, added there so that way you don't have to go out and download any so it'll keep you busy the default one is obviously that fish so uh, you might have seen this already in many uh, other places so this is uh, the default one which I've changed of course and I added uh, my own wallpaper so uh, that's basically it that's my first look at Windows 7 for you. I will be creating more videos on how to change more of the options, more features which I haven't covered. We'll go through them. Compatibility, 
uh, running other programs. If they're still running smooth, I'll let you know. So we'll go through all of that in my next couple of videos. But so far, so good. Okay, I must admit, uh, it, there has been a, a definite improvement. It is smooth, it is fast. Uh, but uh, then again, it varies on your system, right? So uh, anyways, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Comment, rate if you can, and uh, let me know uh, what you think. Okay, thanks uh, for watching.